Hey guys, it's Haja here. Uh, just uploading a video for the new incursion raids. Um, what I'm posting here is difficulty one. Uh, for the mutant section, obviously we're going to be starting with Death Seed here. I've got mine at 1.1 million. Um, there's not really any weak links on my Death Seed team. Like, they're not OP, but... They're... So Special with Archangel, as always. They really put a cleanser on every single node. Like, it's it's non-stop cleansers on every node. So, you, But it's nice because you actually have to, you have to plan for everything better. Like, you really have to choose your targeting, and it makes it difficult. One thing it does, though, is it does create a lot more room for RNG, which obviously gets annoying. Uh, we're going to alt here, get rid of the negative effects we've got going. Take her out, get that turn meter rewind, and let me tell you, by the end of this match, this becomes a clinic because of this kingpin summon. Like, I end up having a full field of OP characters. It's crazy. One thing I've noticed for the incursion raid specifically is that you can actually use Magneto's ultimate twice. Uh, these characters are bulky enough and it takes long enough that every single time I've used it twice in a node, I've always had it. Whereas before with the Doom Raids, I would only ever use it once and then I would save it because I knew I'd get through the raid too fast. Oh, I don't think it's this node that I went nuts with the uh, the summons. But still, with the kingpin summons there, that's crazy. But I'm talking about the dark beast. He, uh, I cloned another dark beast, and then we just started popping off from there, and it was it was unreal. And they really make you work for it on this node too. They have have it set up so you don't always get the blinds on everybody. You have to target a specific side, so you're always going to miss half the field. Um, and again, it just makes it more challenging. I like it because you kind of have to think through it a little bit more. Obviously, it's a little bit frustrating because it's more difficult now, but I encourage that type of content. Like, the Nova Trials being so difficult, it's about damn time, Marvel Strike Force, that you guys made something that wasn't audible. But of course, in scopely fashion, they bugged the event and not everybody got the rewards in the right section that they were supposed to. Like the leaderboard rewards were all messed up. Uh, I'm not making a video on that though, so you can watch like say Mobile Gamers video if uh, if you want to know about that. I don't know the, all the ins and the outs. Okay, definitely special here. Gonna get at least three. Nice. Archangel is just so OP. Like, people, I think he's underrated. I think people don't value him as much as the other horsemen. But I think, like, especially in Arena, you get one kill with him, boom, Apoc has full energy for his first turn. Like, if you can manage to use him right, he's so good. Start with that ultimate. Surprise, surprise. I really had to think that one through. And once again, surprise, surprise. We're going to be hitting that special on Archangel. There is a possibility in this wave where you ultimate with Archangel, but I don't think it's a kill on Phylabell. Like, you want to get rid of Phylabell quickly. But... I don't think it's a kill. Like, they got beefy health bars. Another thing that I did learn is never ultimate first with Dark Beast. I did it. I got destroyed. Always clone. Get the regeneration out there. The clone's going to help you. Worst case scenario, they're going to kill the clone, but not kill you. So it still serves a purpose. Trust me, I did try the other way around, and it was just, it, it was brutal. Like, I got obliterated instantly. Okay, and 
just like that, we've got another clone. So now we got two Dark Beasts, two Magneto. Just insane. Like blinds and bleeds, nonstop. This is, I think, my favorite raid node that I've ever performed. Like, ever. Like, I, by the end of this, I was just like, what just happened? Like, I don't think I've ever annihilated a raid as much as I annihilated this one. Probably wasn't the smartest move there. Should have gone for Cyclops, but it is what it is. He's got so many negative effects. Whatever, I wanted the guaranteed kill. Oh yeah, and we summoned an Emma for good fashion too. So two Dark Beasts, two Magneto, and an Emma for cleansing, slows, etc. Like, it's just unreal if you play this node right. And now... I'm gonna try and summon again, but I do believe it fails. I should have done the ultimate for sure. Oh no, it did work. Oh my god, I see you're hiding in there. Dazzler's way in the back. Wow. I feel like it's a little broken, but nobody say a word. And just as long as you play it right, mutant is a, it's a cakewalk for sure. The other nodes, not so much. Especially uh, Bio. Bio, there was a time where I didn't. I had a, like a lane mate. He started the node. He kind of screwed me, and I just got deleted instantly. There's nothing I could do. But other than that, like it's typically fairly simple at higher higher levels, between like 900,000 and 1.1 million, or more, obviously. Men trying to take out that sunfire before he buffs the entire thing. I'm actually blanking on his name right now. What is wrong with me? I actually can't remember. I'm loading up my game right now because I think that's the, the US agent. The US agent. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. One thing that I find cool as well is all these boss notes have like a boss character. It's not just like your standard doom. Like you've got an overpowered, uh, like Fin 
Fantastic, Fantastic Four, basically, this whole team, The Thing and Mr. Fantastic, but mostly Mr. Fantastic, he's got insane stats, and then for the skill node, it's Killmonger, I believe, just absolutely insane stats, he can barely get through it. I think for Newton, it's Cyclops, but I haven't confirmed that, because I didn't pay attention to it, because Newton's such a cakewalk for me. And then I haven't even really got to test out tech yet, like, we're just get there in time. I think I've done it once or twice, but I haven't got any any kind of footage of it, so maybe I'll do like a separate video or something in the future if I get more of that. Yeah, Mr. Fantastic, he's just so beefy. Let's get the defense down on him there. Agent Venom, like, he's so good. I can't say he's, like, the best character on this team, because that's very debatable, but, like, he's so good, and he does so much damage. If you've already got Captain America built up, I would say Agent Venom's next. Because it's not just his turns, it's his out-of-turn damage as well. Every time a Rebirth character gets hit, he's hitting them back, and he does good damage. probably not the best or the most useful, but he's by far my favorite on Rebirth, for sure. Cable, but unfortunately not. You definitely have to be careful with rebirth on some of the nodes because they'll have, uh, like, say, a moon dragon that'll take away all your positive effects. So you have to make sure you get the safeguards out there first, even though the special is typically more beneficial. I've been finding with the incursion raids, better to be safe than sorry. There are some nodes that you do have to double tap in terms of like just timing out, but it's better than being dead. And sorry for being a little slow here. I was eating my breakfast while while doing this. We've had one, yes. What about second breakfast? Don't think he knows about second breakfast, Pip. What about elevensies? Luncheon, afternoon tea, dinner, supper. He knows about them, doesn't he? I wouldn't count on it. Alright, so one thing I learned Real quick, like real quick, I was targeting the Ghost Rider at first when I first started doing this node, and I bet you I still do here, I bet you I still do the wrong moves. Oh no, okay, I did it right in this one. Target Nemesis. Take him out as quickly as possible, or control him. He will do a lot to your team. In trauma, you can't have trauma put on this team. Make sure you don't use the ultimate with Iron Fist on a Mystic character, because then you're going to be wasting a stun and ability block. Iron Fist has a bit of a nasty kit. So does uh, Captain America World War II, but he goes like once for every three turns for everyone else, I swear, I don't know why. But like, if he had more turns, the ability energy and the flips and everything that he does and the turn meter rewinds is so beneficial. He's just so ridiculously slow.
another thing with this uh, this invaders team, I'm gonna leave it at the end of the video, and I'll leave timelines as well, so you can just go and find it. I'm gonna leave what my ISOs are, because I did my ISOs a lot differently from a lot of people, and as you guys can see, I'm getting an insane amount of vulnerabilities out of the board, and yet I still have both uh, Union Jack and Bucky Barnes as a striker. So, well, actually, I could just I could just say it as well. Like, you want Iron Fist as Raider, uh, Captain America World War II as Raider, Nick Fury as a skirmisher, uh, and then Striker on Bucky Barnes and Union Jack. And so far, this team has just never let me down. They're so good. And I don't have them that built. They're only at 800,000. Um, I think they're all four-star, not even five-star. Like... Look at that, 816,000. So, I can't imagine just building them up more. They're just going to be so, so good. I got a very beefy Nick Fury that was at 255,000. And I haven't done the special or alt, or, yeah, special or alt, but I don't know if I even should. Like, instead of summoning two to three troops, he summons three troops, and then it adds 10% healing for the special. Like, it could help, but, like, this is working, and there's... That's such a small change, I don't think that would even be worth it to, uh, to invest the T4s when I am so far behind in T4s, it's ridiculous. Another thing here is you always want to keep in mind uh, Bucky Barnes special gives offense up for two turns, so if you're ever lacking offense up, make sure you keep an eye out for it. His special still hits multiple targets. Um, it, it's pretty much just as beneficial as the ultimate. So if you need offense up, be smart about it. And then we're going to ult in the middle here so we get turn meter rewind on as many people as possible with Union Jack. Now we're getting this double offense up, just like I spoke about. Iron Fist, World War II, he slept on. He he really is slept on. Like, I, I think he's a lot more beneficial than people realize. Okay, ability block X23, she's got the highest turn meter here. We don't want her to, to mess us up. I think that gives ability energy, I'm pretty sure, and that's why I use it. But I don't know why the animations haven't been coming up for um, ability energy. It's either a bug or I might have clicked something in my settings. I'll have to check it out and see what's happening. We got the boss node with the Killmonger boss. With this one, I, I might be a hypocrite, not sure, learning as we go here, um, but you don't really want to target the Killmonger, you just want to kind of control him to the best of your ability. He's not that big of a threat, like I, I took the speed up off of him, lowered his turn meter, he's not going to take a turn for a while, that's, that's pretty much all you got to do. Leave him till the end, because he's just so massively bulky. I stunned the Mighty Thor, because the previous no, not previous no, the previous time I did the boss no, she destroyed me because she flipped all my possible effects. Just be cautious with her Valkyrie. They'll do more than you think. Like, they're, they're more useful than we remember. everybody on the board. Except that Valkyrie, and that's why we stunned her. I promise there's a plan. Just, I'm new to this whole thing, and I'm not the greatest at vocalizing it, so bear with me. I'll definitely get good at this here, and I know I'm, I'm definitely a little awkward doing the voiceovers. So I never, it's just not something I'm used to. Especially, it's like talking to yourself, too. It's, Like, 
it's like the whole team right there. Just those shield operatives giving turn me to rewind all the time. It just carries the whole match. Like, I can't exaggerate how useful that is. Never, ever special first with Nick Fury. He's not the same Nick Fury. You always ultimate. No matter what, unless you're doing Crucible against uh, Unlimited x -Men. Like, I don't do that attack personally, but I know a lot of people do that Secret Avengers with the... Uh, uh, Nick Fury in Kamamu, and sometimes Sean Chi and Sean Carter, I believe. But I, like I said, I don't do that attack. Uh, I don't have the best of luck, I find, so I just get obliterated if I try and do stuff like that. I try to stick to the tried and true. It's working for me. I'm not doing too bad in Crucible, so. And I actually, I just finished round one. That'll be my next video for you guys to, uh, to watch if anybody's interested. I should have done the special there. I definitely should have. It is what it is. I did the basic on Mighty Thor because we always get assists from the shield operatives and they turn me to real life. And clearly she is the biggest threat with all those positive effects, so I want to make sure she doesn't get to take her turn. But this team is so fast, there's so many turn meter rewinds, I'm really not too worried with where she's sitting at right now. I'm just going to delete Aki. Sorry, guys. There's too many. There's too many positive effects going on the board. It's like the new Wakandans. The game can't handle all the green. I didn't realize I was blinded there. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think I do lose a man here. I think this is the closest I ever get to losing with invaders. Let's see. No, I I fully lied to you. I got the heal just in time. Lied to you again? There it is. So yeah, they did take me out, but that ult is a revive, so perfect timing for that. That was good RNG, I would, I would say. Yeah, my players, like, my characters are just a little squishy, like I said, because they're, they're four yellow, four red is the maximum, but they're not even all four red, so I don't believe at least. Um, so once you build them up, you're literally going to have nothing to worry about whatsoever. And with all the boss nodes I'm finding, minus the mutant nodes you do time out a lot. And a lot of, uh, like, bigger content creators like Dorky Dad, Mobile Gamer, Mr. Hargrave, they're timing out as well, even with their big boy teams. It's just such massive health bars on these, on these new ones. Honestly, I should have just simmed this. Sped it up a little bit. There's not really much to cover here. Take them out. Don't die. I think it'd be a little bit hard to die. I'm really sad that the rewards didn't increase. Like, I don't understand how you can drop a new raid and the rewards are the same. Like, come on, guys. This is, 
It's honestly getting so pathetic. Like, I can't build any characters because of, like, the extreme shortages of all currencies. When you increase the level cap, you have to increase the economy. That's how it works. It costs a million dollars to upgrade one level. How long does it take to get a million gold? Way too long. Uh, so for the Mystic Session, I'm not sure, honestly, what the best comp is here. I'm still learning these new raids myself. This is the team that I've been using that works best for myself personally. Um, I know in the future I am going to try New Warriors with Gwenpool and Dormammu, I believe. I, it's between Dormammu, Morgan the Fae, and Spider Reaper, but I think it's going to be Dormammu. In case it lose a life because they're a little bit squishy. Uh, I'm gonna see how that goes because I did lose Death Pool on one of these nodes here. And it's the first time I've lost a character with Mystic so far, but regardless, I feel like Mystic might pose a challenge once you start to get to difficulty two and three. I feel like my lines is gonna cap out at two, maybe three, and then stop there and let, let people build and catch up. I know some, there's a couple guys in our alliance that are just way behind. Let's get rid of this Ghost Rider, get rid of the Kestrel. Not quite, but next turn. Yeah, you don't even have to worry about the Nakias because Morgan the Fae just controls them to no end. Like, it's... they're a non-threat. I did use the ultimate there just so I could build the charges. One more attack and she's done. Oh, two more attacks, I lied. Yeah, if you guys have better recommendations for the Mystic Node, like I do have most of the, oh, like, we can call them like the main characters built. So, leave a comment, or if you're one of my Alliance mates, just shoot me a message on Discord. Let me know what you're using and what works. Um, i definitely give it a try, because I'm, I'm undecided on the Mystic Nodes currently. I am thinking Quicksilver is going to be amazing once I get more red stars on them. I've been waiting. Oh my god. I think it's been like three, three and a half weeks for him to show up in the store. Hasn't, just, just hasn't shown up. Thank you so much, Scopely, for giving him like a 0.1% drop rate in the Dark Promo store. Like, I, I've got the currency, but I just can't spend it. Makes no sense. But, here we are, we're, if you're watching this, you're addicted to predatory mobile games just like me, so what the, what, what are we gonna do, right? I think it was, uh, Mr. Hartgrave was saying it, uh, a few days ago, they got two guys in the studio doing literally everything, and it's not their fault. Men running a 50 to 100 man job, basically, and they're incredibly overworked. And it's, it's sad because this game makes so much money. Like, they make so much money. And I don't know what they're paying for. Like, do they have to pay for copyrights with Marvel? Like, how does, how does that all work, the business aspect of it? It doesn't make sense to me that they're so. It seems short staffed at all times. Like, there's just so many errors that slip through that just don't make any sense from a professional level. Like, proofread? Maybe? Like, everybody makes mistakes, but we're all making mistakes in 2633, and they're, they're all tenured now. They, they've been doing this for a I realized that I should have used that on the other side. 
think it's a bunch of stuff in the area. But that's okay, it didn't really make much of a difference here. I do something weird at the end here, though. I do do something very weird. Because, oh, I'll wait till it happens to announce it, but it's not something I would do often, that's for sure. for the next node and make sure I'm not getting a character deleted before I even take a turn next node. So I did do the ultimate. It was a weird move, but it did pay off. Like I understood that it didn't make a lot of sense in some ways, but like I said earlier, I definitely think defense is your best approach in this. I didn't heal up, I was deleted right there. So it, it was a smart move, honestly. I think this is my first time looking at this node. Because I didn't remember it when I first looked at it. She is a little bit of a difficult one with the, the Kang and the Moonstone there. I do believe I have max charges still on death. You said okay. And good night. Made the node a million times easier. I feel like you have to make sure that you have full charges for the Kang that's coming. Because if I if I didn't delete him there, I bet you he would have just wiped me out. Like, just absolutely wait. Okay, we'll hit into the vulnerable here. Make sure we get that extra bonus attack. And then I'm seeing who I can turn me to rewind here, but there is no one, so I hit into vulnerable again. I'm so sorry for the notifications. I gotta turn notifications off when I do this. I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. Give me time. Off of absorbing me. Try and work on that Titania really quick before she goes, but I don't think I, I get there nearly in time. But that's helpful. Yep, that's, uh, that's definitely helpful. But see how beefy they are? Like, it's just insane. I'm fairly certain I time out on this node, too, and I'm not taking that long to make my turns. Like, I'm not going fast, but... Like, they're just... They're so beefy. And these are high damage characters, too. And I have a Scarlet Witch that's helping me out. Because of the Quicksilver Summon.
Psylocke dummy. It's always interesting re-watching what you did and you're like, wow, I did that wrong. And then once you start to re-watch you did, you start to realize how much that you have actually done wrong in the moment. But in the moment, you have no idea. See, and this is where I'm thinking maybe new warriors might do better, because they get raid damage buffs, and they just, they do kind of hit hard. Um, like, Spider Weaver, she can hit hard, but she's not a high damage dealer. She doesn't have AoE, she doesn't have anything like that. Quicksilver, I would rank him as average at the power level that I have him at. Dormammu, really slow. Deathpool. She's fairly good, especially for her pings, like her passive. Um, but with new warriors being on the team, her passive's going to do even more. And then she's going to get more charged as well from Gwenpool. Correct me if I'm wrong. Because I don't know if that's tied to Crucible offense or not. Um, but if it's not, then you would get more charges. Um, so that you can do more alts and just absolutely delete characters. Sadly, we time out. These nodes are just so beefy, and my 1.5 million team is not powerful enough. Unreal. I'm wondering if New Warriors, like that four man squad, because uh, Firestar's immune, I wonder if they can actually handle these nodes. Because like, I was thinking to myself that they're not just a Crucible team. Maybe Scopely was trying to address a Mystic Raid issue, too, with the new raids coming out. Because Mystic was getting iffy. Like, we were all getting through it because we had Mystic characters built so high, but it was getting iffy because there wasn't much for raid specificity. Okay, let's get the turn meter rewind. Almost a negative here. Completely fail. We tried. Hit into that vulnerable. Definitely stunned that Icarus. Oh, that's silly. I shouldn't have done that. I should have stunned the Icarus. And here we are looking into hindsight again. Silly mistakes, right? Fairly, fairly sure I was just playing it lax, like completely relaxed, because it's a very low chance I'm going to lose with the characters that were left. Double basic. Like, look at this. I'm literally doing no damage to him. This is why I left him for the end, too. As long as you can control one or both of them, that's all that matters. Alright, but that's it for the video, guys. Um, if you did enjoy it, or if you found it helpful, just leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye now.